grocery outlet. Oops, sorry. Because we are going to do some bargain grocery shopping. How to shop for um, your family if you're on a tight budget. Okay, we're coming into the store. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have some potatoes. Here's some um, some fresh, uh, some organic lettuce and some organic um, baby spinach, and it's only two dollars and ninety nine cents. So. Um, it's good to get a lot of fresh fruit and um, vegetables that you can get for like 75% of the cost and still be able to, you know, feed your family on a budget. Here is some um, meat, some um, lean um, ground turkey, and, um, you know, here is like um, some pork. that um, you can get and some other packaged meat. Um, I know that the tendency is for people to kind of like want to get like these rolls right here, but it's it's better and this is fresher if you get the meat um, that's in these little packages um, right here. That's not good. Okay. Okay, I found some um, organic cheese in here, some pepper jack cheese for um, $2.99 and this is usually like $5 or $6.99 um, Okay, and here we have some organic um, brown eggs. Okay, so if you have any children, um, here they have some, um, some baby wipes um, that you can get and some, um, you know, stuff, toiletries, like toilet tissue, $4.49. And you can get some um, chlorine-free um, diapers as well for like 5 bucks. Okay, so, you know, if you want to get something like, um, you know, jams or whatever, you make sure you get ones that are, you know, um, more natural. So, then you can, like, look at the ingredients on the back. And this one has sugar, apples, raspberries, water, and fruit pectin. So... You know, this one is like okay, but you definitely want to stay away from ones that, you know, that, you know, have more sugar than, um, fruit. So, whatever breads you get, make sure they're like whole grains, like seven grain breads. And that, you know, like when you look, that, um, you know, they have a lot more, um, whole ingredients, um, versus just you know like seeing what's on the front of the here's some um some um baking chocolates so it when you're getting baking chocolates it's good to get ones that at least have 70 percent cacao because those have the most benefits so like if you're into like baking things this one right here is pretty good the more logos you see, the more bright colors you see, the more cartoons you see, the more likely it's not good for you. So we definitely stand away from the super snack section. Even the salt you have to worry about, but you know, less processed foods like this, the better. Even Great Frito, snack. Frito Lay probably buy this core as a bulk and then they put their logo on it. They add a little salt on it. You know, you gotta watch out for the salt, but it's just salt and sunflower seeds. Great. Okay, so if you're gonna get sugar, um, you wanna make sure that it's pure cane sugar. And this almost kind of looks like um, raw sugar, which is um, a lot better. And so you don't need a big 12 pound bag of sugar. Like, 
something like two pounds. You know, if you do a lot of baking, it's perfect. Here's some um, pasta that's gluten free. Um, it's egg and dairy free, it's cholesterol free, and it's GMO free. So, and it's like all natural. So, gluten free pasta is like really great. In you really can't go wrong um, with beans. So, here you have like um, some black beans here. Um, you have some uh, pinto beans. And um, you have like some beans for like um, a bean soup. So you got like all different kinds of beans that you can get. Beans are really great um, for a great like um, money saver. You can like put them in the crock pot and call it a day. Okay, so here are like some tomato sauces. So that you know you can make your own um, pasta sauce or monara sauce. Um, what you want to avoid is that when you read the ingredients on the sauce that um, it doesn't have high fructose corn syrup and my camera's not focusing but the ingredients are tomato, tomato juice and high fructose corn syrup so um, you don't want to get that brand so you want to make sure that the only thing that's in your um, tomato sauce um, you know are tomatoes so here is some um, natural granola some, um, that you can easily use as um, as a hot or um, cold cereal. Yes. You don't need to get them. But, but what happens is people who you know that you can find stuff on those stores. Oh, okay. here in my kitchen. I went to a, um, a, a grocery outlet store. Um, it's, it's called, it's actually called grocery outlet. Um, in some places, I know they don't have those, those, that exact store like all over the United States, but they do have different types of stores like that. Like I think Aldi Foods and um, like Save Mart or Save a Lot or um, a food match, a food kings, or different type of outlet stores or or discount grocery stores um, where people might do a lot of their grocery shopping, especially if like, okay, oh, I only have $100 or $150 to spend um, on my groceries and, you know, I have like three miles to feed and I need to make my grocery stretch. So what I did is I went to the grocery outlet, I've done it before, and um, here's my receipt. Uh, we spent, can you see that? We spent $92.62 um, on the food that we got. So let me show you uh, what we got. Like, your body is very important, more important than a new car, more important than a new house. And, you know, once you lose pieces of it, it's not like you can really replace it. So, um, it's good to take care of your body. It's great. And it's good to, you know, take care of the things that you, you know, be careful with the things that you put into your body. So, um, and shopping, he was saying, like, you know, you like, you do all this ingredient reading. And even when we shop at, um, you know, natural food stores, I still do um, a lot of ingredient reading and so on and so forth. So, um, let me show you what we got. So, um, I got some juice from, now this is a, a Naked Juice, which is actually a pretty good brand um, of juice. And, okay, my ingredients, oh, okay, here we go. There are the ingredients in that. So... Uh, I can't remember how much these were, but I got a couple of these. So, you know, these are some really great juice. Um, the Naked Strawberry Banana. Um, I got some cheese. Well, because I like love this Pepper Jack cheese. This is some um, Organic Valley um, Pepper Jack cheese. So, so what happens is, like, when you're reading ingredients, 
you want to make sure that what you have doesn't have like a lot of foreign ingredients and different things like that. So stuff that, you know, once you put into your body, it's not going to be, you know, like if you're smoking some crack or something, it's going to take your body years um, to get rid of it. So um, I got some eggs. They had some organic brown eggs. So, um, and it says they're, they're cage free, free of antibi um, antibiotics and hormones. Okay. So, that's what those look like. Um, I don't have as many bags, of course, that I usually have when I do our regular grocery shopping because, you know, I'm, this is my shopping on a budget. Um, here is um, some cereal, some um, pea, some French vanilla um, granola cereal, and here are the ingredients in that. I hope that's like, here we go. Okay. Um, this is just kind of something that I threw in there. I love these little, um, <laughs> these aren't groceries, but I love these little bamboo, um, uh, spoons and stuff. So I, I got some of those. Um, here, like, so I like love making chocolate chunk cookies. So here are some, um, some chocolate chunks. See, that's 70%. Um, cacao, which is... For, in order for chocolate to, to get the good benefits of um, chocolate, it has to at least be 70% um, uh, cacao. And there are the ingredients in there. So I got a couple of, I got two of those. Um, I got some um, some baby carrots. So these are like great snacks and you know you can like cook these too like if you wanted to um, you know make like a vegetable side. I got some um, black beans which is that like okay now. Okay beans like they really they go a long way and they even have like um, some little cooking instructions on the back like little recipes like if you don't know how what to do with beans. I got some um, some jasmine rice. So, which you know, you can have your beans and rice, or you know, you can do some kind of saute. Um, here's a snack. This is 99 cent. The sunflower seed snack. Okay. Um, I have. I got a bag of um. Sweet onions. So and there's they have like a little um, recipe thing on the front and the back. I have a couple of little bags of um, red potatoes. Um, it's a two pound bag, so that's like, I got two of these, so that's like four pounds each. So you can like do you can make potato salad with these. Or you can like cut those up, um, like if you want to do something like, um, you know, boil some like with some celery and some carrots and like some chicken for like a little stew. Or, um, you know, you can just like saute them. You can do, you can make um, like herb potatoes. So there's like a whole bunch of different things you can do with that. Um, I got some frozen fruit which I've been like making um, smoothies and stuff in my health master a lot. So like this little frozen fruit that can be, um, you know, mixed in with this in the health master. So like this is a great uh, like breakfast in the morning or, you know, like for lunch or just even like a really great snack. Or you can just eat it, um, you know, right out the bag. And they do, they have like a little recipe on the back. So, you know, sometimes the recipes that kind of come with the food you get are like really helpful. So, um, we got some um, Rice Dream, which is a, a non-dairy beverage. Okay. So, it's made with rice milk. So, um, 
uh, got some cilantro. Uh, now for the black beans, you can do like a black bean soup and um, with onions and put some fresh cilantro on the top of it. I got some um, organic um, baby spinach. So this is another good thing that's good for like salad and stuff like that. Um, I got a pound of butter. Okay. So I got some um, some lean uh, pound. Is this a pound? It's a pound and a half of um, lean ground turkey. Okay, and then this one even has some recipes on the back. So you can do lettuce wraps. Uh, you can use this in your spaghetti sauce or just you know whatever you want to do with it. So here's another thing of um, of the spinach. So, um, I got some, um, some, um, Nature Value Baby Wipes. This, this is actually like a natural, um, company. They sell this at other, like, natural food stores. Um, here's another box of cereal. Like, you can get the little sweet cereals, you know, for your children. Like, these, these little fruity cereals. But they don't have to have, like, you know, all the bad ingredients. Look at that. See? So, and I'll even show, like, whatever the dietary, whatever the nutritional facts for, because I know I never do that, so. So, I'm trying to do this slow. See that? Okay. Um, here's some spaghetti. So, that, you know, it's going to make, like, some spaghetti or something like that. So, and that's, you know, and this is if, you, if you're sensitive, so that's egg-free, dairy-free, GMO-free, which is, like, super important, like, non-GMO. Um, I was looking for, oh, so here are the ingredients. Okay. So um, here's a bag of apples. Right here is some Washington um, some Gala apples. So this is a three pound bag. So that's like that can last for like a week or so. And um, here are a couple of cans of um, tomato sauce, which I don't buy. I don't buy um, spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce or any of those other sauces. I don't buy those already pre-made. What I do is I buy tomato tom tomato sauce. Okay, is that coming in? There we go. So, what I do is I buy tomato sauce and, you know, I add like my own, I add my own ingredients to it. So, you like take some tomato sauce. I think I have a video on, on my channel, like um, basic pasta sauce. So, you know, you take like some, um, some, you can use fresh tomatoes too. Uh, you take some tomato sauce in a jar um, if you want to put some kind of meat in it or if you want to use some kind of vegan meat. And, you know, you saute your onions and you put whatever seasoning in it that, you know, that you like or that you have on hand. And, you know, you just simmer it for like about 30 minutes and it's you don't even have to simmer it for 30 minutes you can just you can simmer it long enough to kind of like let the ingredients marinate. um you can take some of that sauce you can freeze it for later or you know refrigerate it or do whatever you need to do so that you know on days like you get home from work you know you're tired oh you know you only have like you know you don't even really feel like cooking so, um, you know, you can uh, defrost the, the sauce or, you know, you can take it out the night before. And all you have to do is just, you know, I mean, like boil up some pasta. I mean, what does it take? Like 10 minutes and, you know, throw your sauce on top and then you're done. Um, then you can make like a quick salad with it. I think I have another bag. Oh, 
I have another. I have one more bag. So you know you can make like a quick salad with it. You don't have to buy any of those pre-made salad dressings because a lot of times you know you're spending you know two and three dollars or you know your your ninety nine cents and then sometimes people feel like oh well you know oh I, I spend my money on it. I don't want to waste it but you know really if it's toxic throw it out. Um, but what you can do is you can make your own dressing you can make your own salad dressing it's really easy it doesn't take a lot you get some extra virgin olive oil and some lemon and put a little salt and pepper in or you can do extra virgin olive oil and some balsamic vinegar or if you want more of a creamy dressing um, you can use like some sour cream um, and some apple cider vinegar or like a little lemon with some dill and some seasoning and you have your own little creamy ranch dressing and it tastes so much better and it's so much more healthy for you so look, I have a, um, how many pounds is this? This is a two pound bag of some um, organic, you know, frozen vegetables. So, which, you know, you can use this for like sauteing or, um, so what's in here? I got all of this at the discount grocery store. Yes, they had the other stuff, aisles and aisles of, you know, stuff in a box, like, um, I don't know, like, look, I got some lemons, you know, for like salad dressing stuff. Um, here's another thing of the, um, the frozen fruit. So, like, oh, if the fresh fruit didn't appeal to you or, if it, you know, look kind of bad, you know, just get some really simple frozen fruit. Don't get the fruit in the can. Don't get the stuff that this packed in sugar and your whole bunch of other insanity. Um, I'm trying to find the ingredients that's in here. I don't want this to like drip on my computer but hopefully this comes up. So, you know, just really simple stuff. And I, I got even got some frozen pizzas. Look. <laughs> some Amy's, um, you know, frozen pizza. So, like, oh, okay, well, I don't feel like cooking. And grab a couple of frozen pizzas. You know, so I'll call it a day. So, I got, like, two of those for, like, a no-cook night. And here's another bag of, um, another two-pound bag of frozen uh, vegetables. This one is broccoli. So, all of that I got, like I said, we spent uh, $90.00 and some change so we're a family of seven there's two adults and the five children the baby is still um, exclusively breastfed but you know the other four older children they eat so um you know not, not of course this food isn't going to last a whole month but i mean it, at least a good week you know or you know maybe more depending on like if i make beans you know you can really stretch your beans um, you can mix it one day you make bean soup another day you take that beans and you make it into chili beans um, then there's like uh, spaghetti and then there's things like okay you know you can have uh, pizza another night or you know you can just do a really simple stir fry with like some um, you know some frozen vegetables and some onions or you know you can do something like um, you know add some potatoes to that and you know like make that into some kind of soup or something like that um, you know with like some kind of cornbread or just you know anything the possi the endless the possibilities are like really endless so um, you know and then there's like you know you, then there's cereal and stuff like that too so um, you know I just want to show that if you you know you shop smart you can get uh, you know, natural and healthy um, food from the, you know, local uh, discount markets or whatever they call it. Um, you just, you know, you just avoid going down the middle aisles and, you know, picking up stuff that is, you know, you really, you kind of have to read. And, and it's a little time consuming. I know some people don't like grocery shopping, but, you know, it's really worth it. Your body will... Thank you for it. So, anyway, any questions or comments or anything like that, um, just type it <laughs> below. Thanks for watching. Bye.